Yes. Yes. We're gonna have a history Pretty lesson. Combo, yeah. We're gonna have a history Back lesson. Dashes, it's a run. Wow, what a tech. <gasps> Not to be able to kill right, here. One more so situation. Close. Wake up. EXT love it. Obvious. But the drops the punish. What? See the T-Pack. Did anyone Robin. else notice the T-Pack? But drops the T-Pack. Right? I so wake up EXT obvious. But you drop the What? <laughs> Quick history lesson for all y'all. That's who that's who Warren Tasia is coming up against, so you know you know how free this is gonna be. You know how free this is gonna be. So Wine Taser, I'm giving you the inside scoop. You can just EXTP with a bandit. You don't need to care about getting punished on this bomb and he'll drop it. Every time. Every time. Round one. Alright, here we go. Mind taster, mind taster with his trashy guile. He's actually betraying his name because he's been drinking beer tonight, apparently. Mind taster, I guess he only tastes the wine. Just get you know, I'll, I'll give him a pass. I'll give him a pass. There we go. Doing a good job at uh, keeping uh, Swabin out as Swabin's already down to half health. Good challenges on those uh, on those block dive kicks. Standing up to give himself a little bit extra advantage. Point punishes on him, and then jam to get that jump, and then good challenge on that beast kill. But Bob is having a lot of trouble getting in, working with just a sliver of health, and then gets countered after the jump beating punch. Why did he very, very funny game one or round one? Once again, getting very high up with that kick, but that kick is safe for whatever reason. Walking into that EX. Bobbin, there you go, getting in there with the EX. Uh, can spike but right back out there. And Spine Taser again with some clean zoning. Oh, there's a clean dive kick in, but no problem. Oh, might have hit a little bit too high, but gets a, a nice jump in. And the Bobbin back in this round. Oh, another great challenge on that V skill. Yeah, don't V skill on Wine Taser. It's, he may be five years in, but his reactions are on point. At least on point enough to hit a, was it, a 23 startup move. Oh, good punish on that beer reversal. Bob got him for Oh, gets another throw. What's it gonna be? Any air. Short of DP, doesn't matter. Gets him on the other side. So Bob and tying things up one round piece. Well. Fight. <laughs> Goes for the semi, Spavabin not biting into neutral. Oh, just boots in the face and then walking into another sun boom. I wonder if it's a little laggy for Spavabin. Let's walk into a couple of boots. Oh, whoa, was that a buffer or is that a hick? Either way, good stuff gets the super. What's gonna be? Oh, this time, meaty. That's what it's gonna be. Dumps out himself out of the corner for Spavabin. Looking like uh, he wants to put on some pressure. Oh, no punish on that beer. Gets on the other side. Blind is a little bit too slow for that jumping. And then with a shimmy into meeting setup, but doesn't believe. Drops the combo. Gets the punish on that sweep. Blind Taser staying the same side. It's gonna be beat trigger activation. Goes for throat. Good tech. Find a whip, punish each other. Oh Jesus! It's a nail biter. Oh, the jumping just out of range is the force the bot. Goes for the jumping. No anti air. But Bobbin! Oh, and then just outside of her range and then gets caught! Oh, Wine Taster taking game one. Guile wins. The beer clearly showing. And Guile's shitty throw range. That's Guile's throw range is as bad as Ken's. Gonna put that out there. That's how you know he's bottom tier. Round one. Thanks. Fight. Oh, and they jump at each other to start. Oh, stays on the same side. So Bob and getting an early lead. But good anti air out of point taster. Goes for probably that back throw, if nothing. And then drops the uh, two light confirmed. Good anti air zone. Oh, catches the meeting of the fourth spot. And then just catching a lot of them. But so Bob and with a good punish doesn't leave. Doesn't expect point taster to wake up. And he's just getting hit by everything right now. Oh, tries for the jump back jab, but it trades with the back end. Bobbin with the throw. Oh, 
Oh no, and then just gets tagged slightly out of range for that uh, crouching heavy punch. Round two. Flying teams are able to take the round one. Yeah, but the boom into deeper activation. Robin not sure though, get in there. Doesn't believe that Wine Taser will go for another DP. What about this one? No, he still doesn't believe gets the throw. Gets the Ineo trade, but then bad jump in range and bad. Oh, okay. Good EX cannon drill? Is that not punishable? I thought that was punishable block, but Robin with the uh, the counter hit able to close out that round. Staying alive. Fight. Ooh, good block on that EX uh, flash kick. This time it's Robin not dropping that punish. Oh, dropping it a little bit. Dropping the NDP there. But he gets a second throw. What's it gonna be? Oh, good challenge. Mind Taser are fighting back. Sabat's so underneath the jump. Fit luck, fit skill. Probably both. And it's a stare down happening. Bob Robin trying to catch. Wine taser with that crashing medium kick, but oh, just gets it with the raw EX counter grill, doesn't believe in the counter hit combo, but then drops the anti here, tries to jab it. Not falling for those shimmies though, oh, catching with punishing that crouching heavy, uh, heavy punch. Robin not anti or anything, just letting, letting, uh, Wine taser jump on in there. Oh, and then the jumping light kick stuffs out the flash kick, not enough to kill though. Wine Taser on the offensive, just throwing out buttons and throws, doesn't matter if they whip, and blocks! Blocks the cannon spike. Wine Taser taking it a clean 2 Dial win. With that, we'll move to the other side of uh, winner's bracket. Top 8. It's go time.